just this. I should have picked Alvin's pantry. I would have knocked Duck out the box. I'm a hunter. I cook with it every week. This isn't stressful at all. Taya was the only home cook brave enough to take on my pantry. I see mango and pineapple. I'm starting right now on a mango salsa, and then I think I'm going to use pork belly. These are exciting ingredients to work with, but maybe a little bit intimidating as well. It's definitely a risk, but I'm hoping that I will stand out of the rest. My rice dish was an up to par. It means so much to me to have a second chance. I feel like I do well with second chances. When I was 23, I got married. We were married a very short amount of time. I essentially just walked away from everything, and I had no financial help. I just pushed through. I think it gives me more drive and more fuel to just succeed more. I know this dish is enough to get me a white apron. I'm feeling pretty good now that I know what I'm doing with my life. I'm going to do a pomegranate apple fennel slaw with my pork. I'm going to win MasterChef Canada for Alberta. Hey there, Chris. Hello, Chef Michael. How are you today? I am well. How about you? I started off a little flustered. Why were you yeah. flustered? I don't really eat a lot of pork. I'm more of a game guy. Uh, where's the pork? This is a pork chop. No, no, no. That is veal. I should know that. That changes absolutely everything. I got to figure out a game plan fast, or there is no white apron in my future. You're a hunter. You know how to work with meat? Use your instinct, use your gut, and pull the rabbit out of the hat. Thank you, chef. Good luck with that. I am coming out of this battle with a white apron. When Bonaccini gives you lemons, you make a veal cutlet. 15 minutes, you 15 minutes! You guys having fun up there? You want to switch places? Take off that apron. It's making me nervous, because these are our competitors. They're good. They're very good, all of them. Jay! How are hey, you, Jay? Chef? How are you doing? I'm good, sir. I'm happy you chose my pantry. I've been a big fan of yours. My son always asks about you, and he's like, hey, that guy's mean. Your sons think I'm mean? Am I supposed to be nice to you now? I sure <laughs> hope so. Tell me what you're making. Well, I've decided to sear that duck breast, and then okay. I'm going to let it uh, warm up some more in the oven near the end so it won't be overcooked. Mm. So what's in here? Ginger, scallions, gooseberry, and soy. Mm. I like that. I like that. It's got oh. good flavor, and I'm saying that not just to be nice. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank good you, luck. Chef. Wow, that was scary. Justine, how are you? Hi, too. What are you making here? I'm doing a crepe with cream, with blue cheese. You have some langoustines? Yes, butter poached out. Sounds uh, ambitious. You don't um, seem very nervous at all. How come? No, this is what I make at home. I hope you can back that confidence up. I will. I am getting that apron. There's no doubt about it. Man, Chef Alvin, tell me why my pantry. Well, when I was uh, in grade 11, I went with my best friend to Hong Kong for three weeks. Completely opened up my culinary pantry for me, and that's how I've cooked ever since then. Fantastic. Tell me what you're doing. Sesame crust duck breast. You can do mommy dressing for that with some apricot, a little bit of the fish sauce. Sounds impressive. Okay. Can I taste what's in that blender? Absolutely. Mm. You know, I like that. I like that. Thank you, Chef Alvin. Appreciate that. Good luck. Chef Alvin liked the sauce, so that's good. You should be plating now. My biggest concern is the time right now. It's really ticking. I haven't even thought about plating. Shoot, it's still chewy. It's because it's not cooked all the way. If I cut it up right now and toss it in the sauce, I might be OK. One minute. Beautiful plate. Show us you deserve that white apron. They're not moving fast enough. They need to hustle. I'm the Alberta boy. If I screw up this protein, it's all over for me. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take off! I missed out on my sauce that I wanted to go with the duck. I'm pretty disappointed in myself. And I'm not too confident in my plating, but I'm pretty sure I cooked that veal to be perfect. During the challenge, we watched, we discussed, and we learned a lot about what each of you bring to this kitchen. Matt and Justine, 
We're not going to taste your dishes. I have no clue what's going on. They're not going to taste our dish? Based on what we've seen, we've already decided that you both deserve a spot in the top 12. <laughs> yes. Please come up and get your aprons. And in the top 12 of MasterChef Canada, everything I worked for just paid off. Top 12 MasterChef Canada! I did it. This is the catalyst to the rest of my life, and I'm so excited for that. Now, there's six of you left vying for only two coveted spots. There is a lot riding on these tastings. Jay, please bang up your dish. The sauce is supposed to be the best part of my dish. Just knowing that I messed up, it's tough. What do you have here? It's fried duck breast on uh, chow mein. You sound a bit nervous. What's wrong? I forgot to put my sauce over it. You forgot the sauce. That is going to make a big difference. Sorry, chef. How did you do the noodles? I boiled it and then fried it with uh, sesame oil and some uh, marin and some soy. Kind of like a braised noodle, right? Yes. Great texture, nice flavor, good balance, cooked perfectly. Thank you. It's dry. You should never slice the duck breast open and let it rest because all that juice is gonna bleed away and that's exactly what happened. Unfortunately, with the sauce not around, it lacks a bit of taste. It's gonna be a hard one for me. Thank you, chef. Chris, please bring up your dish. I am excited. This is a dream come true, but also I could be going home. I did a lemon tarragon uh, veal chop, apple and roasted root vegetables with uh, lard. And we're sure it's a veal chop this time. We are. <laughs> Absolutely. Did that throw you off somewhat? A little bit, but once I knew what I was cooking with, I got, I got a lot more confident. Because you know meat. You're a hunter. I am. I'm not afraid to handle protein, chef. On the plating, it does look a little bit... A little rustic. A little rustic <laughs> is a good way to describe it. I think had you done a little bit of a, a little pile and had that chop sitting up on it, get a little bit of elevation, it would have enhanced the presentation. You know, I'm hoping that this is going to be cooked. A nice rosé pink on the inside. Yes, chef. You happy with that? No, I'm not. It's a little overdone. Let's see how it tastes. Surprisingly, very good with the simple seasoning that you put on there. For me, it's all about the presentation where you have fallen flat. I'm here to learn. That's my primary focus here. I hope so. Taya, please bring up your dish. I would be mortified if I disappointed Chef Claudio with his own ingredients. Walk me through this dish. Well, I was trying to go for a tostada. I wanted to do a spicy pork belly mole. Have you made mole before? I've never made mole before. I think mole is the most difficult sauce to make. You took a huge risk. I did. You know, the plating needs work. It needs to be more refined. I just felt like I didn't have enough time to really think it through. For me, this dish is a complete knockout. It is next level. Oh my God. Extraordinary. <gasps> it's incredible. I can't believe you pulled that off in such a short period of time. Thank you. It is succulent. It is very juicy and wonderful flavor profile. Oh my God, thank you so much. I am freaking out. I'm freaking out. Calling 24 home cooks down to 12 has not been easy. 
You should all be very pleased with yourselves for making it this far. But now, as you know, there are only two white aprons left. Those aprons will go to the two home cooks that demonstrated the most skill, creativity, and potential. And those two home cooks are... Barry and Taya. <laughs> I got an apron! Congratulations. This is the best moment of my life. I can't even get this grin off my face. <laughs>